flow and direction that control is what this is all about. One way is up, one way is down. The whole function of our control system is control, observation. You need to know what the shit's going on out there. This is the pilot house panel. Remember, we've got controls now, okay? It's actually underneath the pilot house in the DP room. electronics room or DP room, whatever you want to call it, okay? DP, it's called a transfer panel. You need to know about this transfer panel because the transfer panel is there to help you. Electricity was a big problem in the beginning. Plus, as our, con as our controls got better, when they would switch generators, like Mel just said, you're right above me, that shit goes down and it's got to reboot. I don't want that either. I don't want my stuff to ever turn off. How do you do this? Well, we have main supply, which is 220. We have emergency supply from your emergency supply. Then we have uh, UPS. And in some boats, we have an inverter, which is hooked up to 24 DC. So we always have 220 volt AC in that panel, and that panel distributes it everywhere. So I send AC to each leg panel and to the PP so that I have no voltage drop, no loss of power. You can change generators to your blue in the face. It always stays alive and transfers accordingly. Inside the TP is alarm relays. So if the main's gone, it tells you on the screen, hey, the main power's not here. Or if the emergency power, or someone played with the breaker, or they didn't turn it back on, whatever. It tells you, that's an alarm. Now these are real simple. PCA, PCB. PCA is the terminal strip under the dash for the joystick panel. The buttons and the lights and the preload switch and the tag switch and the joysticks. Oh, it's a, that's PCA. This is the terminal strip. There's one in the PP and there's one under the dashboard. PCB, so PCA is a joystick board. Then what do you think PCB might be? It's for the motor, the motor buttons. That's the easy one. What's HMI stand for? Human Machine Interface. I call them the touch screens. It's actually a PC with a monitor that happens to be a touch monitor. And it's backed up by UPS and a few other things. All right, in the hall, leg panel. So, port half leg panel, starboard half leg panel, starboard forward leg panel, so on. There's four of them, one panel for each leg, okay? These, very important, and we'll talk about them again in a second. Also in the hall, we have the motor starter panels. One for each motor. These are soft starters. They're made by WAG. They work good on this boat. Be happy. Hex panels stands short for heat exchanger. We have two heat exchangers, so this is heat exchanger panel. Those are also in the HPU room. And then last but not least, the HPU J boxes. It's a small panel inside the reservoir where terminals come in. It's a very popular place for troubleshooting because every peripheral device comes into that J-Box. Like the transducers and the switches and the level switches and, and the, the solenoids for the brakes, solenoids for the tag speed and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Now we got the overall vessel. How do we get all of this stuff to talk together and be happy? The industrial ethernet, which we call Profinet, which is a proprietary protocol of ethernet for Siemens. That's the, the German company that makes all of our automation, PLC, and, uh, and, and devices, okay? It's, it's called Profinet. For the most part on this boat, if it's a green color cable, it's Profinet. It's the primary backbone of communication for most everything on the control system. So let's just say leg panel, leg panel, leg panel, leg panel, PP. See it? It's in your head, right? We come out of the PP PLC, go into a switch, come out of the switch, go here, go here, go here, go here, and come back to the PLC. See it? Now. If you swap these, remember, if I go from here to here, there's a port. And there's another port, goes here. If 
these two ports are sweat, you get an alarm. It has to be in the right port. You know why? The processor, the computer is looking 24 hours a day that that network's happy and working. It's a, it's a redundant network because let's say that someone cuts this. The computer will automatically reroute the traffic. Instead of going like this, it'll go here, turn around, come back all the way to here, and it don't care about this spot. And it'll send you along, it'll tell you, hey, trouble, trouble. That's the green color. So this, this, this perfect net network connects all the PLCs. There's an actual, independent, individual, self-operational PLC in every leg panel and in the PP as well. There's five PLCs. Okay. This means, which we'll talk about later for the emergency panel and things like that, that if something were to happen and you need to operate this leg, no problem. It's independent. It's a very capable, strong son of the father. Each leg is its own PLC, its own everything. And all the father does is goes down this network line. How you doing, son? I'm good, Dad. Ready to go. That's how it works. Okay? Now, I'm going to skip perfect bus for a minute. When we talk about CAN bus J1939 protocol, it's the most widely used network now on Earth. More so than anything else. Because everything has it. We use it because it's fast. It's, it's not female. It does what you tell it to do. Unlike some things, like here, Perfinet is wonderful. But when you turn on Perfinet, the first thing it does, it says, Lad, Paul, here, Bogan, here, 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 here. Alex went to the bathroom. So when it comes back around, he comes back, sits in the chair. It didn't, it didn't see you were here. You ain't here. No matter what, gotta turn off, turn back. No. Canvas, you leave. Fine, see you. You come back, fine, good. This is what runs the pump controllers. This is what talks to the joysticks. This is what talks to everything that has to do with the hydraulic me me mechanical thing because it's like a diesel or a tractor or a caterpillar or a backhoe, street grader. They all got the same shit. We use stuff that rugged on a lift boat. Stuff that's made to live outside under all kinds of conditions. And it runs this J1939 protocol. Somewhere along the line, we decided, you know what? We used to run like 100 wires from the pilot house all over the place. Well, this cat right here is only two. This guy's only two. Well, shit, we just run that around the boat, too. PP leaves, goes out to this leg, goes out to this leg. Small difference. It stops right here. Comes out of PP. Goes to this leg and stops right here. It's a straight line, not ring like perfect line. Okay? And at the very end, there's a resistor on each end. 120 ohms. That acts as a termination resistor because it's very fast network and it goes down to the end. And when it turns around to come back, the resistor stops it, sends it back. It's like tennis. That's what that resistor's for. You take it out, it'll shut down. So, Profibus cables are purple. Profibus goes from here to the PLC. Profibus also goes from those motor starters to the local PLC in the lake panel. So there's two, two different instances of Profibus. One at the PP, at the gateway to the PLC. The other one is from each motor starter to the PLC in each lake panel. So there's four motor starters per lake panel, and one PLC. So the Profibus network goes from motor starter to motor starter and to the PLC. It's also one of those linear things. It's not circular. And the resistor is built into the connector. The question is this. Uh, the color coding, why I'm even mentioning it, is critical. If the gateway is acting up, that, that's purple color. And, and I'll know quickly. And I, over time, you'll know it's appropriate that issue or not. Because it tells you on the PLC. Okay, and then last but not least, standard Ethernet is plugged in to the PP, to a little box. We, we call it a black box, but it's actually blue. 
but it's the black box. This box allows me to wake up when Alex calls me at 5 in the morning, get on my computer, he plugs it into the PAX diamond, and I'm, in, and I'm inside the PLC. And I can see everything happening in the PLC, everything happening on the screen. So that is Vessel Internet. A small problem with that. I need this guy to talk to this guy. So there's a box here in the PP. We call it a gateway. It talks CAN bus and it talks Profinet. But it also talks Profi bus. It's another one. It's just like Profinet, except it's a little bit different. It's a little, it's a little faster. And much more female, by the way. It's really a bitch when it comes to not paying attention, but there's only two things. Language. All we do is talk from here to here. I mean, yeah, from here to here on Profi Bus, because the gateway is connected to the Profi Bus, and the gateway is connected to the CAN Bus, and the PLC can talk ProfiNet and Profi Bus. And I'll show you that in the electronic show. So, the ProfiNet cannot talk to the pump controllers that I like, that Mel liked. Cannot. So we had to do something. So we like the joysticks, we like the controllers, so that's CAN bus. We use that. My company uses Siemens entirely for automation because it's good, solid stuff. Well, they use Profinet and they use Profibus. The motor starters, they only speak Profibus or Modbus. So we use Profibus. So as time went on, we just let it go. And it works well. If it ain't broke, no fix. Right? This is the granddaddy. This is the daddy, and these are the children, and these are just cousins. The green guy is everything. If the green guy goes down, things, things go crazy. Interestingly, if the green guy goes down, the red guy will still work the legs on the emergency system. And we'll get into that later. That's a, after we learn how the controls work, then the emergency thing's like, oh, Good question. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, this is the end of this section. This training and other videos on this channel are produced to educate the crew and all involved personnel. Feel free to use them in your training sessions.